So Joel and I, we're gonna work together. And we're gonna anchor these doors like we did down on the first floor last year together before we left to go back to Texas. So we're gonna uh, drill a pilot hole. We're gonna drill a hole through first with a wood bit and through the wood here. And then we're gonna stop and then we're gonna put a masonry bit on and we're gonna drill back into the uh, concrete. Hand me one of those screws and anchors there. No, that with the anchor, both, with the both, yeah. And then we're gonna drive this down through that hole and into the wood you see here, like that right there. Drive it through that hole into the wood and then we'll tighten it down. But what I have in my pocket is I have another wood drill bit that's bigger than this one and I'm gonna countersink that hole. So I'll drill a little bit bigger hole on top so the head of this screw can flush down flush down in there a little bit. And then we can take and uh, putty that in with some wood glue and maybe some sawdust or something and color that in. And then when we stain the door and the hinge and everything there, you won't much see it. So first thing we're doing is a regular drill bit in the wood. Now what I'm gonna do is upgrade the size of the bit. You see, one bit's bigger than the other, and that's the countersink that screw head. So here we are, we're gonna countersink these just a little bit. That's enough right there, that's it. Don't want too much, just enough. Let's see one of those screws, let's see if it, the head of it will go in. So we want just enough to see, yeah, see that head of that screw just fits in there nice and snug, see? And that way it'll be countersunk down in there, and then you'll put wood filler in, and when you stain it and all, it barely even be noticeable. Now, we're gonna drill the masonry bit into the jam. And you put it back over on a hammer here. tap one of those in here. Hopefully it'll sink all the way in. Hopefully. We'll try one and see. Let me see that hammer. It's gonna be our test one. I may have to make that chamfer that hole just a little bit bigger. We'll see. It's down in there. We got it. Now we just there it is. Counter sunk in. Just clean that up, fill it, and that's it right there. Is it on the railings? Yeah, yeah come on up here. Hello, ma'am. How are you? What's your name? Rachel. 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 What's your name? Elmer. Elmer. Well, hello, you guys. I need pricing 
and maybe show me some pictures of designs for stainless steel handrail starting down there coming up here this column between around and all the way around down the stairs in the back and and up the stairs here on the side I want to be sure that it's good stainless the lady next door here the company that did hers the stainless is always rusting and they have to constantly ever two three weeks polish polish ah, it's not a uh, no, yeah, well, they told her that hers is 304, but I think it's not zero two. four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I really want to make sure that it's good quality stainless because I don't want maintenance constantly do, cleaning that. Um, give me like some pictures or something of some designs that I could look at. I don't want it too fancy. I may want a stainless tube then. No, stainless fix. tube. Fix. 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 Stainless tube only. Stainless tube. Like a fix. Yeah. Fix. Yeah. Fix. Yeah. When we want to look at some pictures, you can give me some prices and you can measure here now and see how how much, yeah, how many meters it's going to be. Yeah. 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 Give me some ideas that I want. I, I don't want like no fancy pieces or nothing no, like no, that. No, no. no, I want it more more like a modern. Yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Probably go with a round stock on that, maybe. I want it to go down to that corner into that post over there. Down this side into right here. Huh? Open. Uh, this can stay open, open right here. Uh, yes. Yeah. Open. And then we show her that front balcony up there also. Open. Yeah, I want it really like to make elbow. a curve. Yeah, put an elbow. Because yeah. I, I want it to have that like a flowing feeling instead of a sharp corner. Yes. Yeah, nice, uh, like around. Elbow. Yeah, just okay. elbow flowing elbow. around. Every corner. Yeah, that's what I want. That kind of style. The post from the in the cement. Maybe. The to the inside's the better. Inside, inside. The post will be uh, on the top of the sakalo, or. Um, maybe. Well, maybe down in that corner. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna use I beam. I'm. Ha I hadn't told you. I'm having another thought. Yes. <laughs> so I may need a railing for this staircase. But I'm not ready yet, and that's not going to be stainless. We're going to do that probably with a black metal, and then Bonbon's going to make me a teak wood handrail. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do. But I am going to need somebody to make the railing. But I'm thinking I'm going to pour this concrete open under, and I'm going to curve it all the way. Before I was going to make a landing, but I don't think I'm going to make a landing now. I'm going to just make a big curve going up. So you don't know it, but that's a project we have coming up. While oh, they're here measuring, I want to talk about that. I'm getting some trades in here just for a couple things. Most things I'm doing myself. The main two trades I'm getting in is Bonbon bon down at the wood shop, uh, making me these custom doors and jams and that big window up in the top. So that's, that's one trade. And the other trade that I've got coming in is for all the railing coming around. Pretty much everything else on this tire house in my situation we're doing it ourselves I'm leading the guys the guys know some of it already some of it um, I'm teaching them but with our two knowledges together we pull pretty much everything off these guys know a lot they're really great uh, they're very talented people uh, sometimes they know things but they're doing it a little rougher than I want and all I need to do is just polish their technique just a little bit and uh, but on these railings, um, I'm not experienced with welding stainless, just being really honest, you know. Um, I want it to be a very beautiful job. It doesn't cost that much more to pay somebody that's experienced to build it, and I want a trade in here to do that. So that's a trade. 
Then another trade that I have hired in right now, and he's over working next door, and we'll go visit him, is uh, neighbor Bebot. <laughs> I laugh at these names. He is doing precast uh, trims for my columns on the front of my beams all around to give the place a very beautiful finish. So that's a third trade that I'm hiring in. And I just want to share these trades as they come in. Now, some things you can just ask around. I can ask my masoons, my workers, and hey, they know somebody here local with that trade. Uh, you know, we get him, we get that. I've known Bebot was doing that kind of work long ago. Long ago, we talked about that. And I knew that he had done work around, all around the community everywhere. And I've seen his work and I've had time to look at it and years have passed by and I saw that his work is held up. So I hope I get the same quality that he gave them uh, because his work seems to have held up pretty good. Uh, so that's one way is by word of mouth to find a trade. Now on the, the railings, um, I asked and I got a lot of blank faces. They didn't know anybody really to do it, you know, just said the city, go to the city. So what I did is I got on Facebook Marketplace. And you know, it's a good tool. I'm not real avid of posting on Facebook. They kind of went down roads that I don't agree with, you know, but that's the side of it. Um, the Marketplace is a good tool. It's a great tool. And so what I did is went on there, searched in the area, and I found people like doing stair railings. And I contacted several of them. I scheduled them and I want them to come out and I want to get, uh, different quotes see different people's ideas one might give me a great price but maybe i'm not that enthused with their design another one might give me just a little bit higher price but they may have a design that just really grabs my soul my spirit and feel like it goes with this place and i might be willing to spend just a little bit more to go with uh something that i really like but this is what i'm doing is i'm shopping out the trades right now and i'm using facebook marketplace as a tool now talking about that uh, I made contact with the farmer down in Bahal the other day I sure did anybody say what they want I don't care I wrote him we're friends on Facebook I wrote him and I said hey man he's looking for solar panels and I told him go to Facebook marketplace and I sent him some links to some sellers there on his island that's within driving distance of them to go to. They can take their van, whatever, and go to. And it seems some links to some because the prices were, uh, a lot of it was like half price to three or 4,000 pesos cheaper per solar panel than he was like looking at ordering online for. And I gave him a little advice and stuff there. Advice is free. It doesn't mean James is buying somebody a solar system. That is ridiculous. Uh, advice is free. And that's what he asked for. He asked for advice, and I gave advice because that's the kind of person I am. I'm a southern boy in the United States. I was taught to be a gentleman. I was taught to help your neighbor. Advice is free. It's not e-bagging. He didn't e-bag me. He asked for advice. I gave him advice, and I'll give it again. Show me an example on a stair here. And I won the round tube, won the larger tube on top, smaller on the bottom. That's all. That's all I can look for. I like the ball cap on the that bottom for that at the bottom down there. That ball cap is nice. That's exactly what I wanted. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want that many ball caps though. Maybe only at the beginning. Let me think about that. Yeah, cause see, like here, remember I want a ninety, a curve, a elbow. Yeah. I'll just start at the beginning with that ball, but I don't want them everywhere. Oh. Yeah. She's showing me another one here. Uh, Is it zoom already? Okay. Yeah, I like that design. That looks good. That's what I want. I want it curved like that. I really like that design right there. I like the way that's made here in the sides, right there, and then the rails. In the elbow, I like it as long as that gap's not too big, so somebody can fall through. Mm. I like that. 
I like that design. That's good looking. I do. Well, it's after lunch now, and Joel and all the crews back here. And right before they left for lunch, him and I were setting up to start putting in this door frame right here on the front of the house, facing towards the street. Really happy for that as well. Wow, so B bots in here. Make it look at these, man. Look at that. Looking good. Man, that looks good. He's in here working on these now. Step by step. Man, that's looking good. Step by step. Yeah. Slowly, slowly. I like it. Friday, install there. Yeah, if you want. It's ready. Cut him so. Like a template right here. Here's one right here also. And he works around on that. He's got him a nail here. He can put on this piece here on the inside and down that nail and then work that around. It's pretty cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Like this. And as he builds it up, lets this dry for a while, adds more, it'll finally go all the way to the top of the cut there. Yeah. This finish with cement only, like a powder. So it gets smooth and slick like that then. Cool, cool, cool. Cool. Be bought. I'll see you later, man. Thank you. Move out of my way. Move. Move it. Yeah, I see him coming right there. I'm glad I saw that I got time to lock the gate. Just in time to lock the gate. So I want to talk about this threshold again that goes in the bottom of the doorway. Uh, I know a lot of people don't put them here in the Philippines because they like to just sweep out the front door. But you know, it leaves a place for creatures to crawl in roaches, little geckos, spiders, anything can come in through underneath the door then and it's an air leak. So we're putting thresholds in, all right? 
And I got a good point that I want to share with you guys that are looking at building and trying to make a choice. When Bonbon that came yesterday that built my, my doors here, my front door here and all, he was asking me to help him on designing a threshold because he's going to have to custom make one for a foreigner that he's doing some work for. And the problem is the foreigner also brought thresholds from the United States to the Philippines to put in his doorways. But the problem is, is that Bon Bon built the door too wide for that guy's thresholds and the work's already all done. And so now the thresholds are useless because the door's too wide for it. So you really want to watch out about that with your builder, whoever's building your doors, and you're gonna bring something like these thresholds, you've got to be absolutely clear with them and, and give them this measurement that the door cannot exceed the width of this threshold. So uh, I hope that'll help somebody out and give a little bit of food for thought right there to think in advance. <laughs> crazy kids, <laughs> crazy, crazy kids. Everybody, it's been a long day. Appreciate you watching the video as always. Hope everybody's doing well. I hope all you new expats that are coming in are enjoying yourselves, getting out, having fun, seeing your loved ones, finding a new loved one, whatever it may be. And uh, hey, it's all good in the hood. See you next time.